Assalamu alaikum. As per commitment, uh, we are here to start the online classes. Um, actually, I'm going to record this video and then to send you people uh, the different classes of medical physics and BS eighth semester in MPhil and in PhD. Even they are studying radiotherapy that may be uh, relevant to them as well. Well, it's a very different kind of the experience because actually we are used to face the class, having a class of 50, 60 students. Um, they are sitting in front of us and then we are talking with them, interacting with them, getting questions in, in real time. But that's a different kind of the experience because there's no student in front of me and I'm talking with a camera in front of me. So, but that will be beneficial in the sense because when you get this video, you can play it back again and again um, and you can send me the questions if you have any question in mind if you have any any question in the material which i have already sent to you people you people can share your question uh, we, we call it online but actually this is some sort of offline or a distance learning or a distance education um, online actually mean a real-time interaction that i'm right now i'm live when you people are interacting with me and asking the questions at that time and i will be noting your question at that instant and then replying you uh, promptly, but this is some sort of the different kind of the uh, uh, trend we are going to start because that is a new experience in our university. The distance learning because we are actually actually this is a, this all is supposed to interact uh, and uh, to exchange uh, the course material, to exchange the ideas, to exchange the questions, the discussions, the questions, the answers, and everything. So it's a two way communication. We will be sending you uh, the course material we have already uploaded on the university website. You can see there, you can, you have your CMS login ID. Uh, and if you even, you don't have that, that is still available in the university CMS uh, web page. And if you cannot get that from there, you can ask. We have different WhatsApp groups as well in the different, for the different classes. Uh, you can um, share the material with your class fellows because that's mostly in the PDF format. But if that is in a different format, you can also exchange that. Uh, so uh, accepting this reality because the situation is quite different now, uh, but we are interested uh, to proceed with the same pace. We were already uh, moving. Uh, we have started the semester, the spring semester 2020, somewhere in Feb and the university was closed on 13 March. So we wish to uh, utilize this time that should not be wasted. That should be, you people should engage yourself with your studies as well, though you have enough time uh, because working from home is a different kind of the experience. But, but I am personally loving this experience because uh, no time limit is there um, from like nine to five, but we can, you can, we can work for longer hours, we can work late nights, we can have the collection, the preparation of the course bundle material and then to send with you people um, and then getting the questions. Um, so that's something I believe that there are, there's a blessing in disguise because all the teachers are uh, preparing the materials in a different way because you, earlier we were um, delivering the lecture in the classroom, facing uh, the class, having a whiteboard, a smart board or a multimedia projector, but this time we have to send the material which is openly available for all the students for all the university or for anyone else so that is giving uh, some sort of uh, encouragement that we people should be uh, preparing something uh, that should be uh, up to the mark that should not be compromising the quality that should be relevant to the syllabus uh, that should not be some sort of the gup shop, but that should be actually some material that that the student really needs and that material should be prepared in a way that student can understand that as well but keep in mind that this the university level learning is somehow very much different in the sense because uh, we are not supposed to write something on the board and then expecting you people to reproduce that in the paper and get full marks no your input is always important your input is always required university is something like you people are uh, supposed to be intellectuals supposed to be scientists you will have to uh, talk you will have to question you will have to disagree even so we will be uh, giving you some highlights of a topics like and then you people are supposed to explore it in a more broader spectrum and then put your input and that is actually the beauty of the science as well well i'll be talking for the um, for the science especially in this uh, recent uh, crisis point of view because uh, I believe that the value of science has will more be the science will be more valued now the benefit the 
groups of the size, the productivity, uh, the, the utilization, the positive kind of the activities where we people are supposed to serve the humanity. So talking to uh, back to the medical physics, uh, as I, we have already, already discussed in the classes, that this is something like many students come that this is something like uh, medical biology and how we, we have not studied biology, then how we can understand the medical physics. So I assure you that this is not medical. This is purely physics. This is the applications of the physics in medicine. Starting from the slides I have already shared with you, starting from a thermometer. Thermometer is something where you can measure the temperature of somebody. So that's actually the principle of physics, using the expansion of the mercury, and then you people be uh, getting some idea. And then stethoscope, um, the different kind of the thermometer. Nowadays, you can commonly see the infrared kind of the thermometer, the thermal, uh, like uh, from a distance you can measure the, uh, the th thermal gun type of the thermometer you see the up, often on the airports and other places the people coming in the, from the different areas. So no, they not need to not need to be connected with the person, but that will give you the temperature of that. So there are different kind of the phenomena in physics where you people can uh, apply uh, physics theory, physics knowledge. Uh, to the medicine, to the especially medicine, though physics is being utilized everywhere in all aspects, uh, in all developments, uh, the base of the engineering as well. But uh, that is uh, the medical physics is probably the applications of physics in medicine. Uh, and this is secondly, I will uh, I will must mention that this is the time of connectedness. This is the time once there was a time of specialization that you people should be doing specialization in some particular area, but now. Uh, different areas are connected with each other and then they are working for the uh, more benefits you can you heard the term quantum computing you have heard the com biophysics um, and then uh, quantum chemistry similarly in the medical physics you will see like we, we discussed the gel dosimetry where that's that's a get together of physics chemistry and medicine we use the chemicals we develop a gel we uh, that try to make it equivalent to the human tissue, human body. So uh, the, the physical properties that should be equivalent to the human body and then apply different kind of the like radiation, the attenuation characteristics are noted uh, and that's they are applied rather doing experiment in the real patient. We do experiments on uh, the dummy patient, which we call a phantom or we call it gel, something like that. So these are the, some basics uh, which, you, which you have seen in the, in the, in the shields in the in the slides i have already shared with you people uh, but if you if you go in that slide you will see that they are uh, started with the uh, basic physics so when we're talking about medical physics uh, right now we are going to uh, talk about radiotherapy basically radiation therapy is one of the most important component of the medical physics uh, where we apply the radiation uh, to treat the cancer but broadly it's divided into uh, three portions like one is the basic physics second is the classical radiation therapy and the third one is the modern radiation therapy practice but before the radiotherapy i must tell you that medical physics is not limited to the radiation therapy medical physics is used in diagnostic radiology different kind of the imaging techniques you see the magnetic resonance imaging ultrasound x-rays and many other modalities where you people are using and the physics principles and like x-ray simply simply the x-ray that's available in the market a kilo voltage x-ray that differentiate between the muscle and the bone like if we are if we um, interested to know the anatomy of a bone whether it's broken or it's uh, it's in, in, the, in its proper form so a simple x-ray image will help you uh, to see that but later the concept of the CT with the computer tomography and then the magnetic res resonance imaging they helped more like uh, to understand the human anatomy um, the abdomen and the different organs over there so they have applications over there so the basic physics is important uh, to be uh, explored first because you will start from the item you will start from the periodic table i must recommend the periodic table is something that's a very beautiful kind of the thing every student of physics every student of chemistry every student um, interested in material science in medical science whatever the field is you must be understanding them in a periodic table there are many elements over there they all are different they have something which is called atomic number this atomic number make them different from each other that's the guarantee of their exclusiveness that make them exclusive from each other different from each other uh, it, the, the elements in a single uh, group are in a single period they, they can have similar characteristics 
but they are not 100% similar. They have a lot of dif differences. What are the, the three major differences are always there. The atomic number, uh, when their atomic number is different, they have a different uh, density. Uh, they have a different number of electron per gram or number of electron per kilogram. And uh, then the atomic number are effective atomic number in the case of the compound when there is a combination, for example, if we talk about water that's the combination of hydrogen and oxygen h2o so that will have an effective atomic number and that will make it different so these three parameters are very much important to understand when we're talking about uh, medical physics because the number of electron per kilogram the density of a material uh, when we talk about different kind of the materials to be human equivalent so that they should have a very similar density though there are different com uh, components in the human body muscle bone fats they all have a different different densities uh, but normally we, we consider more uh, the muscle, the water, because the 70% of the body uh, contain water in it. So uh, keeping in mind all these basic physics characteristics, you will have, you are responsible to explore it. You are responsible to make it, uh, the, make these concepts very much clear um, because you need to understand it. You are not, um, I'm not interested that you people should be uh, memorizing all kind of the things are reproducing in the paper. No, we are not going to test your memory. We are going to test your skills, your wisdom, your intellect, your critical um, kind of the aspect of your personality, how you take things and how you have the capacity to disagree. So you need to uh, make a clear concept of the things. Um, so I have um, in the slides I have shared with you people already that contain uh, the book uh, I must say that, that the physics of radiation therapy by FM Khan uh, and probably that was the fifth edition which I have sent the link of that book that's always al al also available in the PDF format you should be studying that the first three chapters I have shared with you people you are um, supposed to understand the basic physics because that's there's nothing new in that that's all about nuclear uh, radioactivity half-life and mean life concept because we are going to use a lot of radioactive materials when we talk about internal beam radiotherapy or even external beam radiotherapy with the help of the cobalt 60 so then again we need the, uh, the concept of the mean uh, half-life and mean life and the concept of the radioactivity though currently we are using linear accelerator so the uh, chapter number three which i have shared with you that's all about clinical radiation generator we will be starting from uh, the very old and the very small energy radiation generators, trans ray radiation therapy, then the contact therapy, superficial therapy, mega voltage therapy, uh, ortho voltage, and then the mega voltage therapy. You can see that we have started the radiotherapy um, 100 years back, but that was a very limited kind of the energy in the kilo voltage range 20, and then it was in, increased from 20 to 50, and then 100, and so on. So this this differences will actually uh, that will highlight that how how we uh, progressed in the field of radiation therapy one thing is the energy and the second is actually the computer control mechanism um, initially the radiation machines uh, they were um, all uh, manually operated but now they are having a computer um, integrated with them so that will assure the accuracy that will assure the um, accurate delivery of the dose radiation dose and that will minimize the uh, uh, uncertainties and the errors and that will be uh, giving you more benefit so I will keep on interacting with you. I will be explaining the things which you will be asking from me and you can send me the questions on the email, on a voice note kind of the WhatsApp or a message, uh, whatever that will be suitable for you. Uh, I'm giving this lecture in this uh, in a recorded format so that will be shared for the students which don't have instantly available internet so that will be uh, given to them as well. So. I will welcome all the questions from you people and we will be inshallah keep in touch. Thank you.